Hi, I'm Jenny Connor, an early childhood educator from Tasmania, and I'm here with Carmel. Hello, I'm Carmel Richardson, and I'm an early childhood educator from Canberra. Another aspect is understanding the contemporary theories that underpin your practice and what that means for how you act and interact with children. Could you talk a little bit about your approach to learning? When we work with children, we have to have an, aw an awareness of the theories that inform the practices that we're engaged in. And that can sometimes sound a little bit scary to start using the word theory. Most early childhood educators are very aware of the developmental theories that in have informed practice for many, many years. However, there are newer theoretical ways of thinking about the work we do with children that can give us new insights and new understandings and new approaches to working with children that I think are very rich and are very um, full of possibilities, if you like. So I've been working with sociocultural theory for a number of years with the young children and staff that I work with. And sociocultural theory, of course, is about thinking of children as participants, as children as, um, as culturally and uh, socially situated learners, as children, as learners who learn through interactions with others. And those others are other children and other adults. So, of course, the first sociocultural context a child um, is involved in is the family context. And of course, family context should always inform our practice. We should always have close relationships with families and know the cultural context, if you like, that from which children are coming from. Um, but working with sociocultural theory enables us to start thinking about ch children in a interaction with others. Mm -hmm. And that's very important. And it also means in, in, in interaction with us. Mm -hmm. And it positions us in a very important place within that learning uh, cycle with children. So it, it enables us to move beyond the sort of more traditional way of thinking about children as learners, you know, of s setting up environments for children to explore and learn through exploration, um, which often saw sort of educators standing back a little bit and observing children, watching children and seeing them naturally sort of engage with materials and learn through that engagement. A socio-cultural focus um, put, re, puts the emphasis back on the interactions. So the interactions that the teacher or the educator has with the children and the, the way the educator understands the interactions that children are having with each other. We've got a, um, a small clip here um, of some children going up to get ready for, to play in the sand, sand pit and they're going to the shed and they're getting materials. How would you interpret that as a learning experience? What was going on there? On this occasion they go into the shed, they choose a few resources, some simple resources, I think some shovels and some buckets, and then they go and help their uh, educator um, prepare the environment so they take the cover off the sand pit. So again we can see children engaged in that particular environment, taking some responsibility, which I think is a, a, a wonderful learning opportunity for children to have opportunities to make choices, take responsibility, and then deciding on the games that they will play. Now the educators are out there. The educators are there to support them in the games that they choose to play. The edu educators are there to facilitate that play, if you like, should it be needed, with the addition of further resources or the addition of some suggestions to extend play, but by and large the children are well used to the environment, they know each other very well, they will fall into the, or form into their affinity groups, their friendship groups, and they will play within those. Um, so from a socio-cultural perspective, I can see these children in social interaction with each other. I can see that the uh, various age groups provide different supports for each other, so sometimes that means the older children are supporting the younger children, sometimes it means the younger children are providing provocations to enrich the learning experiences of the older children. I don't always think it's the older yeah. children making all the difference, it's often the younger children. I think all members in the learning community make significant contributions to the learning that occurs.
we're getting on today. Do I have some people who can carry the um, bucket for me? Do you want to sign that up? Why can't we get Why can't we get these? Did someone say no? Did somebody say no? No, I want the hot skin. Well, look at the little pedicure. Alright. Well, if people are getting hurt, I'll ask to put them away though, okay? So you can make sure no one else is hurting you though. Who's going to help me put this up? Let's do the blue ring! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Get in there. I'm going to get the sandpaper ready. Sandpaper. Yeah. Where's your hat? You ready? Ooh. You need to go inside and get your hat. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, you're going to put it on the floor. Oops. Oopsie daisy. That's okay. I'll just let it work. It's fine, doesn't it? <laughs> Just to keep it out of the way. But yeah. it won't come sit on it. Yeah, so I'm going to lift it up and get all the edges. But it can go a long way down here. It is a long way to put it back again, isn't it? Yeah, that's okay. We'll have to do it once. There we are. Okay. There we go.